What's up, Faith Squad? Good morning, y'all. Couple disclaimers. Excuse the scarf. Just took me a shower, just got up. And I was watching my boy King eat, eat. And he inspired this breakfast sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. I wasn't going to do a video till later, but. Because y'all know I like to pre record at night and post it in the morning. But yeah, I was so tired last night. My back been killing me. My side, I just got some body aches and pains, y'all. It's this change of weather. One minute is cool, one minute is cold. I sleep on my couch a lot, so I had to start sleeping in my bed. I'm just, my body hurt, y'all. So please forgive this little nonchalant breakfast, but I'm here. And that's the focus. So we got a, a turkey, sausage, egg, and cheese, raisin, cinnamon flavored bagel sandwich. <laughs> and like I said, it was inspired by King E.E. -E. I didn't get a chance to finish this whole video, but I seen that thumbnail and I said, ooh, I got to get it. I got to have it. And luckily I had everything. So, and we got a little orange and we're going to drink some lemon water. Yeah, I ain't feel like cutting up no lemon, so I'm going to put a little lemon juice in there. So let's just get into the prayer and enjoy this video like we do all the other ones. I've been trying not to come on camera with my scarf on, y'all, but I'm just getting up. It's a gloomy, cold day, and like I said, my body just ain't feeling right today. So y'all pray for me and bear with me. Most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me up and able, Lord, in good health, no matter the pain that my body is feeling right now. With a good straight mind on my shoulders, Lord, and I just ask you just to continue to do this, Lord Jesus, through this crisis. Just keep us all mentally sane, Lord. Protect our mental, protect our health, protect our hearts, protect our family and loved ones near and far, Lord Jesus. And anybody that's lost anybody right now, Lord, we just ask you to send them some comfort, some strength and understanding, Lord. Place it on their hearts that they know that their family is in a better place. And even though it's hard, we all have lost Pete loved ones, Lord. And we know that grieving, everybody grieves different and everybody, some people take longer than others. So, Lord, we just need to depend on you and we need more people to depend on you and believe in you and trust in your word and your will and your way, Lord. So we just ask that you just continue to step in as best as you can. We know it's all your time, and Lord. We know you are the powerful ruler of this world, Lord. Nobody has to say so that tops yours, Lord. I thank you for providing for me and my family and friends, Lord. I thank you for just showing us how to appreciate what we do have, Lord, even through our struggles, Lord. I thank you personally for struggle because it has did nothing but strengthen me throughout my life, Jesus. I thank you for anybody who chooses to click on my videos and find some type of inspiration or just some type of positivity out of my videos and my messages and just the love that i like to share and spread lord jesus i even thank you for those who don't understand me lord jesus maybe they'll find it in their hearts one day to understand me and be able to love and support me and you know just treat everybody with respect lord jesus i thank you for my nieces and nephews i ask you to just continue to protect them and watch them lord and i just ask you to let this food be a nourishment to my body in jesus name amen it was just a All right, guys, let's get into this breakfast. I didn't want to scoot my thing back because I didn't want y'all to see my little rigged up thing, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. I had to put my Kleenex box up under there so y'all can see. I'm going to put a little lemon water, lemon juice in this water. And I had me an orange earlier while I was in the bed. So I ain't going to eat that orange y'all had me one already. But like I said, this is a raisin bagel. I love them. And I got a fried egg, some American cheese, and some turkey sausage. And this was inspired by King Eat Eat. Y'all go check him out. That's my boy. I love him. So real and down to earth. Thumbnail. Let me see. Nope. Let me see. 
or whatever. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Can I see that cheese? Happy Cinco de Night de Mayo. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Y'all yeah, see it. I took some ground turkey out. Hopefully, I'll be doing some tacos for y'all tonight. Of course, it won't be posted till the morning. Because I'm going to post this today. Mm, mm, mm. So you get yeah, I ain't been doing much. Just been chilling and tripping off of this weather. It was a beautiful day yesterday. And now it's back gloomy and cold. We can't win for losing. Mm-hmm. H2O, baby. But, um, yeah, like my back, the lower back, and my side, y'all, I'm talking about killing me. Like, it's, it feel like it's bruised. But I know what it is. It's me keep sleeping on this dang old couch. But I got to start sleeping in my bed. I've always just like sleeping on my couch. Probably because I ain't got nobody sleeping in that bed with me. It's like, nah. <laughs> But now nah, I slept in there last night, me and Dan. And it was cozy and comfortable, but I kept tossing and turning. Because I'm so used to sleeping with my TV on, and I have to actually. But the TV in my bedroom ain't working right now. Because I had to get a universal remote to program it because of the signal. All that mess, and I haven't had a chance to give me no batteries because y'all know I ain't leaving this house, so I had to wait till somebody come or my brother or something go somewhere and get some batteries. Mm hmm So that's why I spend most of my time in my living room because the bedroom TV don't work right now. But it is what it is. Yeah, I woke up early, too. Took, took me a hot shower. It helped ease the pain a little taste, especially on my back. Oh, it felt so good. Mm hmm. Nothing like some good cold water. Let me know what y'all eating today. Are y'all celebrating Cinco? Danny and her getting out the tub, putting her clothes on. It's cold in here, y'all. I'm about to turn the heat back on. I don't like being cold, but I don't like being too hot. Put it in your clothes bag, then, you know, in the room. I don't like being, I'm a summer baby. I'm born in July, but I don't like being too hot. Look at that, y'all. Good turkey sausage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like being cold, y'all. Mm -mm. Um, chat and chew with Miss J sent me a clip with Steve Harvey talking about, you know, how they opened up Atlanta and why they only opening up the hair salons and the nail shops and the beauty, you know, barber shops and just all the stuff that make you feel like they just targeting us, y'all. And I hate to make it a race thing. 
I don't even like to talk about that because I know how YouTube can be. But it just make you think. It make you wonder. It make you, you really don't have no option but to feel like that because it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But the sad part about it is how our people fall for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say our people because soon somebody say y'all people, that's the other race to us. We go off. So I don't really want to say that, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. And um, it just makes sense. Like, you know, you got to call a spade a spade, and that's the, that's what they doing. Like, it is. It's just mostly our people that's just been so pressed and too eager. Like, they just can't sit still. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? Why y'all can't just relax? You've been ripping and running all your life. Sit down somewhere. Take a break. You get to find out stuff about you, your kids, and all type of stuff that you ain't even have time to know. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm going to do everything in my power. To keep me and my loved ones safe. Even if that means that I got to stop them from coming. You know what I'm saying? And let them know that this will pass. It'll be over soon. Because I miss them. But it will hurt me more. Knowing that they're going from my house to their house. Or whatever. However the case go. We don't really know how it works. You know what I'm saying? We just know what we got to do to prevent us from getting it. And that means less interaction, social distancing, wrapping your face and your hands and stuff up, staying clean. I should have been doing that anyway, but now it's the time. Like I sit in my window sometimes, y'all, and just watch the people. <laughs> they just out here living life like ain't nothing going on, and I don't get it. Like you'll see one, two, pick a few people that have their mask on and their gloves on. You know, especially going out in the hood store, neighborhood store. Everybody and their mama go in and out of that store. So you at least want to think you want to put some gloves on your hand. Hey, Brett, go out if you're going to wash them when you get home or not. But nine times out of ten, if you don't have no gloves on, you ain't going to wash your hands when you go home. You lying. But anyway. And then, you know, the key is just out here running and playing like ain't nothing going on and stuff. And I just prayed. I, my biggest prayer be, God, please don't let nothing happen to these hard-headed people because them be the ones. And then soon something happen. They're going to be sitting feeling like God failed them or why this happened to me, God. No, you wasn't listening. You didn't pay attention. You didn't protect you, your kids. You letting them come all outside, rip and run because they're getting on your nerves. We get it. Trust me. We get it. I ain't even got no kids, but I get it. That's why I always kept my nieces and nephews and all my girlfriend's kids and stuff around me because I know they single parents and be needing a break. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a time where you got to just... You know, you got to find something productive for them to do in the house. Nine times out of ten, when they make their routine, make their weekly routine, be high wood if they was at school. You wake up at this time, you wash at your rear, you get yourself together, brush your teeth. You know what I mean? They can have a little bit of break because they're not actually in school, but make them get in them books for a little bit. Make them, you know, don't tell them, make them. Sit there, supervise them, and do what you're doing while you're supervising them, and after that, let them, you know, enjoy their time and space on the phones, the electronics or whatever it is that they want to do. But let them know that this is still a regular routine. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all have yards, porches, whatever. Let them, They need a little air. Let them run right there in the front of your home where you know it's safe at. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Y'all ain't, and we all in this together. So we all feeling the, the draft and the pain and the, uh, we tired of it. But. If y'all don't start doing the right thing, it's never going to end. As soon as they open everything back up, you see nothing but headlines and clippings and Instagrams and posts and people talking about how the numbers are, 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 are rising. Whether they getting sick or whether they passing away, the numbers are rising. You don't hear nothing about nothing decreasing. So y'all, please stay home. Do your part in trying to make this world a better place. That's all I'm saying. Because if each of us do our part, you do your part, you do your part, more people do their part, 
less stress it'll be. Less chances we get of people catching it or spreading it or all that. And shout out to the essential workers. Shout out to all the doctors and nurses. Shout out to all the police officers that's here, that's truly doing their job because they want to help. Shout out to the fire department. Shout out to everybody that's out here risking their life to save lives. I mean, seriously, though, like, it just don't make no sense, y'all. And I know this is a short little video, but I just really want to come on here and eat my little breakfast sandwich because, like I said, I didn't get to record last night. What did I eat last night? What did I eat yesterday? No lie, y'all, because I'm on this thing where I'm trying to intermit fast. Eat once a day or snack. You know, if I do snack, it's oranges and apples or something, some cucumbers, whatever. And when it gets too late and the only thing I have in there is stuff that needs to be cooked, I won't eat. It's a wrap because I'm not cooking that late. Like, I really try to eat before at least about seven. But I will, if it's eight, I'll try to, I'll eat at eight. But I don't think I ate nothing yesterday. What did I eat yesterday? That's crazy. I ain't cooked no breakfast. Oh, that's what I ate. I ate my leftover seafood boy. Sure did. Mm-hmm. I had some cucumbers left, a couple of potatoes and shrimp, and some crab legs. I finished that off yesterday. I sure did. And that was it. And my oranges. I be running through them oranges, y'all. They be so good and sweet. Baby. And been drinking my little H2O. I got me some uh strawberry lemonade. Pink, yeah, strawberry lemonade, too. Yeah, I'm going to put me some lemons in there. It's going to be good. Yeah. And that's it. That's all, y'all. But, uh, Mo here. But, yeah, I just came to eat this little uh, breakfast sandwich with y'all this quick, real quick this morning. Say, hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. And, um, post this video up for y'all real quick because I didn't get to record last night. And, um, but I love y'all so much. Don't forget, we on the road to 4K, y'all. I think we at 3,890, baby. So we on our road to 4K, and don't forget to check out the new channel, Face Squad 2020. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and y'all stay safe, stay home. Keep them kids covered up. If you got to drag them to the grocery store with you, protect them by any means necessary, y'all. Because like I said, the stuff ain't, it ain't decreasing, it's increasing. If y'all, you know, do your research. And don't watch the news all the time either. It can be stressful. But I love y'all so, so much. Peace, love, and blessings to you, 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 and you. And y'all already know who we riding with. Who we riding with, Moo? We riding with the angels. Mm -mm -mm. I love y'all so, so much. Stay Peace safe. Peace, welcome.